And we're back here at the Stock Recap Show. It is 3 January 2023. Happy New Year. And we're going to get into the high flyers in a second. But first, let me cover this super important disclaimer that this is all intended for educational purposes only. Okay, most traders lose money trying to make money in the markets. And there's no guarantee you're going to make money with this strategy or with any other strategy for that matter. Okay, so let go of any fears and anxieties that you have about losing money. And we're just going to focus on the learning here and we're going to make it really fun for you here too. Okay. So lastly, these results that I'm about to share are not typical at all. Let's get into the high flyers. We got a fly ball and it is out of here. Okay. G, G I'm sorry. JSPR was up 467 0.41% today, okay? So we're gonna pull up this, this chart here in a second. I just wanted to call that percentage movement out because that was just a huge, huge move out of Jasper Therapeutics. Um, this is a pretty pretty small company, but they did report some good news. At least the market appeared to like it, okay? Traded 63 million shares on trading day, number one of the year. And there's only 36 million shares outstanding. So the entire company almost turned over two times. You can see it was a leading gapper this morning, probably gapped up 200%. So should have been on everyone's radar, everyone that knows how to use stock screeners. Okay. And if you don't know how to use them, definitely schedule a call at FridayTraders.com and we'll, we can show you exactly where to find these tickers in the morning, okay? But this this was the first pullback here. It almost got all the way back to 150, the, the uh, open of the day, and then it just ripped higher all the way through 350 to a high of 377, okay? So it was even up probably 500% on the day. And these moves happen not very often, but they, they do happen, okay? And it's important to study them and, and figure out what what went right and what went wrong if you were gonna take a trade here, okay? So I'm just gonna zoom in on the on the five minute chart here. It looks like there's some gaps in trading, so maybe this was halted a few times, okay? So if you had some halt scanners, this probably would have popped up on, on that as well, okay? But it's funny how it halts up, it halts, halts because of buying pressure, and then all of a sudden in the afternoon, right, there's this, there's this great drop from 370 all the way to 260, what's a 30% drop, and, you know, very little buying down here. So it's just funny how it halts up, halts up, halts up, and then it seems like nobody wants in the afternoon. And, and this happens all the time, but it's important to study these moves and try and learn something from them, okay? So MSGM is the next notable mover, and this also killed it today. It was up almost to, it was up almost to $15 here, okay? And it, it started out as at four. So another incredible move, but it settled near seven. So definitely on the screeners to watch tomorrow as long as it has the volume okay so it's got pretty low average volume and really low shares outstanding in fact the market caps only 42 million so be careful here data is the next notable mover up 26.54 percent okay and that's it for the notable movers let's get on to the about to break out stocks and go to is the first one here and i'm just going to show you the charts of each of these so go to you can see there's this huge pullback and now you have this candle over candle action so that is uh, a buying signal there and then you have tour same thing and these are also both companies out of china china and gorilla tech is out of taiwan okay but this is uh, a stock that's opened up recently and really took a dip here all the way to 260 and now it's back at 10. So it's up about 400% in the last uh, month or so, but I guess it's not reflected in this monthly performance, okay? So careful here too, but um, you know, this could have been good for could have been good for a trade today. So that's it for the about to break out stocks. Now let's get into the scary stocks I caramba, some of these are looking really bad and actually most of the stocks I saw today didn't didn't really look great at all. 
Bior by that's B I O R, okay. Biora Therapeutics, and this is a 600 million market cap stock, and it was down 28%. So I guess that's close to 300 million. Okay, and now it's a reverse stock split. So this is this is not good. It's not a good sign. It's breaking out to all time lows. It's really opening up here to the downside. So maybe a stock to avoid in the next few days, but who knows with this crazy market it could be up. 400% tomorrow, you never know. INTR is the next scary stock, Inter and Company Inc. out of Brazil. And I've noticed a lot of Brazil companies are, are really down in the dumps here, okay? They lost the, the World Cup, that big World Cup match. And I know they have some, some leadership changes, which don't look all that promising, okay? So just the, in, the entire country of Brazil seems to be struggling a little bit. Maybe it's it's not the best place to, to park money here for the short term, okay? And Boyle is the last scary stock. This is a natural gas exchange traded fund. I don't really like any ETFs. The spreads have been so wide and they it doesn't even seem like they track what they're supposed to be tracking, like the underlying securities. Don't seem to make a lot of sense. If I overlaid natural gas here, I'm guessing it probably wouldn't even make a lot of sense, okay? So this this looks like something to avoid to me. It's down 19% today. Not that natural gas is, is looking all that horrendous, and I'm just gonna pull up the, the natural gas chart just, just to see um, where where we're at here. So natural gas, wow, it did, it did kind of fall off here. Um, but it seems like um, natural gas might bounce, but as for boil, this this does not look good. I don't even know, you know, it doesn't even have any data here. It's down 33% on the week. It should be bouncing off this low RSI, but it just seems like it's, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing like most ETFs I see, but if you feel like uh, you can trade ETFs profitably, then go for it. But I have not been able to manage to do that, okay? So that's it for the scary stocks. And that's it for this stock recap show. If you're looking to accelerate your trade profits, then you can book a call on FridayTraders.com. We're also looking for a select few traders to take under our wing here and mentor to become expert traders to where you can make a living off of this easily without spending too much time on the day to day. Okay. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then book a call on FridayTraders.com and I will see you on Thursday. Okay. See you then. Bye.